Good morning everybody, welcome back to TQM Travels. Today is our last day here at Yellowstone National Park and we are kicking off things with the Grand Prismatic Spring which you can see behind me. It's a little chilly right now and you can see there's a lot of steam coming up so hopefully we're able to actually see the colors of the spring but we're gonna go ahead over and take a look. Also today we're planning on checking out Old Faithful and some of the other more popular attractions here at the park. I don't think we're gonna be doing quite as much hiking as we did yesterday. So it'll be more of a relaxing tourist attraction day today. So as far as photography goes, today I'm using my Minolta X700 again and I'm gonna be shooting with Ektachrome for the first time, which is a slide film, something that I'm not really used to using. So hopefully the photos turn out and I expose everything properly because I've heard it can be a little difficult to do that. So we'll see. So behind me here we're at the Grand Prismatic Spring and it is a little too steamy to see the uh, deep blue water so that's a little unfortunate but I think later in the day we're actually planning on doing a hike to go up to the top of this mountain here behind me and that actually will give us a pretty good look down into the spring so maybe if we come a little later in the day it will be a little less steamy and we might be able to see some of the, uh, the really great colors here at the spring so we're going to head back to the car and I think we'll check in with Boo and Florida and see where they want to go next. All right, so Flora had an excellent idea because the geysers in the hot springs are being sassy right now in the morning. We're actually gonna drive over to Hayden Valley to see some bison roaming and uh, check out the wildlife. And then we'll come back over to this area in the middle of the day where it hopefully warms up. So maybe there won't be quite as much steam in the air and we can see the uh, beautiful colors of the springs and the geysers. So we'll see you guys at Hayden Valley. Hayden Valley. This is supposed to be a pretty popular area to see wildlife. You can actually see we got some bison in the background here. There's one just chilling in the river back here. Uh, we've heard that there isn't that much activity today, but we might just drive around a little bit to take a look and see if we can get some more bison or maybe some elk as well. We're really hoping to see a bear at some point because it's like the one thing on our uh, animal checklist that we haven't done yet. <laughs> so we're just gonna hang out here and then we're gonna head back towards the geyser area and the lake and we'll see you guys over there in a little bit later. Hayden Valley was pretty cool. Unfortunately, there were not too many bison roaming around, but we did get a chance to see a couple pretty close, especially the one that was right next to our car. That was pretty cool. And now we're gonna be heading back towards the west coast of Lake Yellowstone and check out the West Thumb Geyser Basin. And we'll see you guys over there. are now on the uh, boardwalk for the West Thumb Geyser Basin. This is along the uh, west coast of Yellowstone Lake, which is a massive lake. We saw some pretty nice views of it along the uh, drive, and I think we're kind of up to an overlook where we can look at it now, but the, the lake is beautiful here. We should see some uh, little hot springs and geysers here as well. So 
let's go uh, head on inside. So the West Thumb Geyser Basin here is pretty cool. It's a really, really short boardwalk around to the different geysers and hot springs and you get a really beautiful view of the lake as well. So it's absolutely amazing. It's a really quick visit too. It only took us about 15 to 20 minutes or so. I would uh, definitely recommend it if you're in the area. So now we are on our way to Yellowstone's main attraction. We are gonna be going to Old Faithful. Try to check out an eruption over there and also explore the other geysers and hot springs in the basin in that area. So we'll catch you guys over at Old Faithful. Ah, we made it here now. We're at the basin for Old Faithful. Uh, as you can see, it is not currently erupting right now. The next uh, scheduled eruption is at 3.35, which is in about uh, 30 minutes from now. So we're just gonna hang out here. We're eating some lunch right now. And then in just a little bit, we'll get to see it erupt. So we're trying to get a nice front row seat and it should be pretty awesome. Well, that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's an overcast day, so the uh, the geyser sort of blended in with the sky. Hopefully the video and uh, the photos turn out, but if not, it was still really cool to see a person. It did get super crowded, so it's uh, definitely a good idea to come early before the eruption is scheduled, so that way you can try to get a good seat to see everything. But uh, it was really cool. So now we're just gonna be looking at some of the other geyser basins before we move over to the Biscuit Basin, I believe is next. And then also we're gonna go back towards the Grand Prismatic as well. The uh, boardwalk trails here at the Upper Geyser Basin are actually pretty impressive. Uh, so if you're visiting the Old Faithful area, I would definitely recommend coming around up here as well. Pretty interesting to see all of the different uh, springs and they have a bunch of smaller geysers in the area as well that are pretty cool to see. So we're heading now to the Biscuit Basin, I believe, which will have some more hot springs and geysers to look at. So we'll see you guys over there. Here we are now at Biscuit Basin, which you can see behind me. It's really, really windy here. We are going to be hiking around the basin. It's a very short loop, it looks like. And uh, we'll see if we can get any cool videos or photos of uh, some of the thermal features here.
basin was pretty cool. It was really short. It was only about a half mile loop. It took us maybe 15 minutes to really walk the whole thing. But Sapphire Pool especially was really, really pretty. It was such a deep blue color. It was beautiful. Now we're going to be heading back towards the Grand Prismatic Springs. We're going to be hiking a very short trail in order to try to get to a upper observation point. And we'll see you guys over there and hopefully we get a better view this time. Here we are now at the Fairy Falls Trailhead. This is a uh, about a three, three and a half mile hike, I think, to a uh, waterfall at the end. But we're just taking a very short section of it to get to a uh, overhead observation point to look down onto the uh, Grand Prismatic Springs again. So hopefully there's less steam and we can see some of those beautiful colors. made it here now to the overlook to look down at Grand Prismatic Spring and it's really really nice. The view up here is beautiful and as you can see the springs are a lot easier to see now that there's less steam coming off so I would definitely recommend not coming to this hot spring early in the morning when it's really cold because it's going to be difficult to see. This Fairy Falls Trail at least to the overlook is really really easy. There is a slight incline that you'll have to deal with at the end but it wasn't anything too bad and the views up at the top were definitely worth it. It was spectacular. I think what we're going to do now is we're actually going to be heading back to the uh, main area for the Prismatic Springs and we're going to go do that boardwalk again so that way we can uh, see what that view looks like when the uh, when there's not quite as much steam. And then I think that'll be the last thing that we do today. So we'll check in with you guys before we leave the park. Just kidding guys. We are actually going to spend our last bit of time here at Yellowstone National Park here at the Fountain Paint Pots Trail in the uh, lower geyser basin. So this will be our last thing that we're looking at. It looks like the trail is mostly just this uh, boardwalk trail. Should be nice and easy. Well, the uh, lower geyser basin was actually pretty cool. There was one geyser in the middle of the trail that was like constantly erupting, it was awesome. But that's gonna be it for our time here at Yellowstone National Park. We were here for about two and a half days, got a lot done. What were your guys' uh, favorite parts, I guess, or activities, viewpoints, whatever, here at the park? Uh, the Grand Great Canyon. Oh, some differentiation here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bowie, you said the Grand Canyon was your favorite? Oh, Yellowstone, yes. Yep. Mine was the Grand Prismatic Pool, the Overlook. Nice. Yeah, I would uh, I would agree with Bowie here. My favorite activity was definitely the Grand Canyon. I thought it was really cool. The hikes were cool, especially the the lower... The, Brink the, of Lower Falls. Yeah, that, again, I really underestimated that one. I was like, this is gonna look so boring, but no, it was so cool. Um, I do agree with Flora though. I would say the overlook that we went to for the Grand Prismatic Springs, uh, that was probably the best view in the park. What did you guys think of like Old Faithful and stuff though? Underwhelming. Underwhelming. Yeah. I feel like you can't not. You gotta go. Yeah. yeah, I felt the same way. It's like, especially, I think it was really just the conditions we were looking at it too. It was just a gray day and the gray geyser. So it's like, there wasn't a lot to see, but yeah, you definitely have to go if you're here in the park. The ice cream made up for it. Oh, that's true. We got some delicious ice cream. Oh, it was so good. 
So that's gonna be it for our time here in Yellowstone National Park. We're gonna be driving now to our next uh, stop for where we're staying tonight, which is gonna be a place called the Wander Camp. We're gonna be glamping in some tents. So you'll be seeing that in our next episode where we are also gonna be traveling to the Grand Tetons National Park, as well as doing some disc golfing, which is something I've never done before. So that's gonna be quite an experience. So do be sure to subscribe to this channel and also ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode goes live. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and until next time, cheers.